Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. <laughs> I think it's time for Game 7 as Son of Beast and Meat are back. That's right, because we are still out here after the Stanley Cup playoffs has already been finished here last time. But now, we're ready for this one. I think Game 7 is going to be a very tough one to go in between the matchups of the green teams. Who do you think you have the most here? And moving on to the next round in the finals to face against the Heat. I have to go with the with the placement on Boston Celtics. It looks like they got some good chance out there. They never made it that far here since last season. And I think they're gonna like do things again and again for this season. If we're about to see them go right through by and you are your take. Well, I may have a good good chance of in between uh, Boston or Milwaukee. But I have to, to like stick with the neighbor of them, so I have nothing else to say about it. But it's very tough to find out who's going to win the whole thing. And as of right now, I think we're ready to get things on the road here. Back in Tyson here that forum. Is it right? Yes, it's right. So far, it's going to be a very tough one. And right now, bringing me in is Fan, along with OJ. That might be might be heading towards the next game here. To Stanley Cup playoffs will be on that one here next one. But let's bring Fan back in, and we can definitely do things again. Yay! Hey, thank you very much. It's it's very uh, very exciting to uh, just to share it with you guys. Thank you for bringing me in. I appreciate you all. The best of your luck, One of the most of the design things I really like to say is. Boston Celtics are really like the hardest team I ever heard of them. And for Milwaukee Bucks, they're doing it really good. Special opportunity if they need it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that interesting to me. Yeah, of course they are. You ready? Ready! Let's head you down to Pfizer.com to start the presentation. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. A gorgeous town here in Milwaukee, and this time it's Game 7 for the, the sudden death teams of these two. That will be the only time to give them a tell. Celtics, Bucks, next after this. Hello everyone, we're back at the Pfizer Dog Forum, and again, and this is Game 7 because the matchup is about to happen. Right now with me, me from his band, and David are, and, and with that one, we are on the sideline now, it's David Aldrich. Good evening, Kevin. Giannis and Dentacupo signed that big extension last season to remain a buck. He said, I don't care about glamour and big markets, I love Milwaukee. I can feel the love from the city every time I step on the floor. When I'm done, the only thing that's on my mind is spending time with my family. But the Bucks are my basketball family. Kevin, you're part of my broadcast family. <laughs> the only broadcast man, don't let me make the down for this one. Thank you. I am always very happy to see this one. I think this two are going to be the best one to give that one a grip and show and tell. And you're telling me one of the uh, better players of this game, he may be tough enough to try to defend it right in the podium. I don't know who will it be, but it may be the next one that could be coming in by if they're ready for it. As you can see, Emi Uduku is his second season with the Boston, and it looks like he has been the first season uh, as a head coach, but it's the second season that he wants to get things on. I have never seen him quite so often, and maybe the only one to give that one a try. And the tip-off starts now as they're all set to go at Pfizer.4. All fueled up and we're ready to go. Right now, as a starting lineup in the group, Jason, excuse me, Jason Tatum in a small forward. Marcus Smart here in a point guard. Then it's Robert Williams in center. 
and Jalen Brown in the shooting guard position. Tatum, well, with a shot, ugly start here for the Boston Celtics. Now in the other hand right now is Middleton. Middleton, right in the corner, right to Lopez. Bounce passes, fades the shot, back to Holiday. Five to shoot. Holiday trying to deliver the wrapper around inside. It was off the target, and it's Williams with the rebound. Jalen Brown and the other teams are like getting in there, and they're trying to like take the words out of them. And they're, they're like questioning things up already. Brown with the two. It's up up with the four, and it's the first bucket for Jalen Brown in game seven. There is going to be a lots of tough ones in offensive here tonight. You're going to have to keep your eyes on that one, yeah. Indeed, you got to do one. Ah, the Kupo. Hit the big slam hit for the dunk. And the king of the, um, the Kupo has his first bucket down. They're waving that beer with that face. Oh, man, we would love to see you on the Kupo. Slam it down like the biggest attackers tonight. Favorites. Everybody's favorite. Tatum for three. That's a good triple three-pointer outside the range. They're up by three. On the Kupo, on Horford. Trying to take a little uh, wrap around here. Inside, on the Kupo. Shot went off, missing. Horford with the rebound as Tatum takes it our way. We're down left to three minutes to play on the court. And it's takeaway is Lopez. He's going to go right in it now. He really wants to try to like stop it and go right where he has the flow. On the Kupo, kick it with a layup, but he has put in the back here for a second bucket. Boston up in front. Tatum covered up by Middleton. Screen on Horford. And offensive foul, that's on Tatum. That will be the no team foul releasement. And now we'll change it over to the Bucks balls. Good call, because that was a tough one to go in the bound here. And for sometimes, and even with that one here, this team can definitely try to like knock it down. It's too hard, too much to go right through it. And it's very that difficult. Can't be letting that happen again. Oh, they went to Ada Kumpo. Over Horford. That misses off the target as Tatum takes the rebound. It's tough angle. Tough one on the bound that usually that Al Hooper was going to try to like step it up. But for this moment of time, he doesn't want to case it through. He has to try something else. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Brown outside. Four to shoot. Over Wesley Matthews. That goes off the target as Al Cooper has his rebound. Now Old Milton. Jason Tatum. Portis Jr. in the corner. We're for it covered up. They're all moving the ball around here for the Bucks. On it, on a Kupo inside. Gets a feed up and quick release. Robert Williams, this is wrong rebound. And Brown trying to lock it up here. Good day on Bobby Portis Jr. with no foul regain. In control, good inbound. What a save me. Middleton pass up to Ana Kupo to Matthews. Matthews back to Middleton for three. The point of three pointer cannot make it in time. Last minute left here. No points in the last 224 scout scoring drought. They haven't got anything yet. It's tough to go in the bounce. But I might be a very hard one to go for the luck. I may have to figure it out. What will we do next? Horford over again. The layup is good. And Horford gets it. Another bucket inside. Horford has delivered a first bucket in the layup drive. They have seven to four. Indeed, the pressure really has it all here down for Al Horford. Oh, the Coco! Wow! That slam was given a better timing. The effort was our best one. Defenders were not going to be on him. Not going to succeed, but they have it all in front of They counted up a great moment. Awesome job. We did bound up by Portis Jr. Holiday back again. Ten seconds to go. Matthews back to Middleton. Over again. This one misses off the target. 
Brown, Rathcorn, Smith, Smart Deep. That will be the end of the first quarter. Seven of the six is your score. A tight inbound here, but a showdown of the Eastern Conference teams. But we will be right back with you after this. And if you're joining us here for the second period, we got a great action in between the Celtics and the Bucks. So far, the Bucks are trying to like work their way around a bit. They've only have one, one game, one, two, and three. And right now, it was their turn for the Celtics to win a couple of games, four, five, and six. But this time, this all that happens to be three streaks in a row for the Bucks, and now the losing streak puts it up and the winning streak puts them up for the Celtics for tonight. It's all happening out there. The tough one may be a, about an account of attacker, but it may be very much hard that gives them all a uh, Checking out the biggest score. What a job here for Pat Connaughton for the start of the second quarter. That period was going to be a very tough call. Great shot. Williams inside. Gets it to go. They're tied up now by nine, and it's assisted by Derek White. They tied it up in game seven. Richard on holiday. Screen up by Middleton. Oh, you feel the beating here for tonight in game seven. And I'd be taking the beat for tomorrow, being down and off to a, off to a postseason before the conference finals. That's top one. Always got to know their brains. Pritchard on holiday. Shot clock down to five. Williams on the war up. Brown for three. Babis is off the target. And it's Ibaka with the rebound. Holiday is picking up their steam. And that's a good feed off to Connaughton. Connaughton was very good. The definition of this one, it may be a very tough one to go right in bounding. The moment at the vendors I can really call that one is, this is a lot of aggressive ways. Here is a good way that we can definitely try to go for the attackers. Connaughton stepped out of bounds, and that will be Boston Ball. Oh boy, that's a little oopsie out there. Might need to be careful with that one. A tremendous mobile one block by Chris Middleton. Putting a reflection on Jason Tatum. I like that one here. The moment of time that, G that Chris Middleton was going to like smack it down, they have it all encountered up. I'd like to see that one come by. Indeed, the only one can get there in timing. It might be a good one. I like that one. It's good. Christ, oh boy, he's coming back in there. Down by two. Here's Allen. We have only three minutes left to go in the first half. Ella looking it over. Switching things inside. Fade up with a shot. Good for Allen. It's 15-11 as Allen gets his first bucket. Those teams are a hard pressure to keep in by. Here's Pritchard and Brown going in. The drive is good. This one comes back down by two. There are so much attackers out there. There might be someone going up here by, but they need to help them. The follow up here may be tough, but don't be fooled. There might be well, anybody who can, can try to like stop the run. New Aura gets a three baller, and it's now an 18 13 lead. Impossible is nothing for Jordan Nuora. It all happens. Moment of that time for Nuora, he gets a great open feed. What a deliberation here for the Bucks. Awesome job. Way to go. Four to shoot. White needs to get the shot. For three, good on the triple range and now down by two. Oh boy, the tough inbound is not going to help that one. Allen uh, right back to Nuora. Moves back to Lopez. Around Blitzer. That will get him to go here for a number two pointer for Lopez. And Lopez really got it all of it down. Blitzer on Allen. Takes a screen for Feist. Inside the paint. Outside Williams. Back to Brown. Brown back to Williams. Shot clock to five. 
White over Connaughton. The drive and set back and a tone for the Bucks to crash them down. We're under a minute left to play in the first half. Allen after Lopez to Ibaka. Ibaka on Fice. Picks it over to Allen for three. That third pointer no good. That went in and out. That's tough. The inbound is not going to help you slow down. So you better try something else here or else it could be a very tough one to try to knock it over again. Fice makes that one and leave rebounding. And now it's back to 22 for the Milwaukee and Boston. Allen looking it over. Lopez with the screen. He's up to Connaughton. Connaughton on Brian. Serge Ibaka with the screen for the shoot. Ibaka. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow, I'm definitely going to feel that pound in my chest. My phone just keeps on vibrating. Don't be a don't be a fool on that one. You never know what's going to happen. And the first half closes off 22 and 18. Let's go to David Aldrich. Thanks very much, Mike. Stout effort defensively in the first half. What did you do to limit them? I just think our activity on the ball. We got to try to keep it in front of us. Our fans did a good job. I think being big in the paint, making things tough there. We got to finish it with the board. Yep, rebounds and possessions, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. Please stand by for halftime show. Third quarter coming up after this. What a job here. Performance run here in between us here. Let's have a recap for the Celtics and Bucks of Game 7. That's all for now. Let's head you back down to Pfizer.forum to start the third quarter. And we approach you to the third quarter to start things off in game seven. This team is like the toughest inbound in between of those two. Giannis Adacopo on the roll. He's looking for a way to get right back to the Eastern Conference Finals. I bet that would be a true thing because if Feist here got four and one side of the Kupo for the team, for all the fans, they may have a solution here. They might be showing things off right a moment in time. I bet that might be a good one. Only tough ones might stand out. The foul is called by Al Orford as this has his first personal first team foul the start of the second half. And Ime Dutuku, he says, don't reach, try not to foul them. Just try to go heavy on him, and don't even try to keep it off of the way. Yeah. yeah, because of what happened though, he went a little too hard here at that point. And they are all giving him up here to slow things down. On a Kubo at the free throw line, shooting two. As no free throws are given up here in the percentage in between Milwaukee and Boston. Here for game Take seven. So for that, first quarter might happen. Giannis hits the first free throw. I'm definitely telling this one. Giannis on the Kupo. Definitely got a great uh, heavy work on the status. And for Clover, I may have something a uh, good uh, good take here. Love to hear that one for the home game. Indeed, we definitely love to hear for the last game here. Since overtime, it did turn out to be Boston. They made a great win here to try to shock them down. And now they're in the side tying series. But the next one... Could be it. And that will be good for two. It's for a win to get into the conference finals. All right now, here's Marcus Smart. He's covered up by Drew Holiday. Dish off to over to Brewer Brown. Off to Tatum for three. And it will deliver it in for the triple range. They're back down by three. 
And this is the closest call that they can get. In between the bounds, not going to be happening that much. Might have to stay careful. Anacupo, rebattle up by Orford. Smart in transition, back in 4.20 to go. Smart on holiday. Moves it around. Steps it back, Orford right over to Brown. Six on the shot clock. Brown step back, that will be rebounded by Anacupo. Anacupo's definitely reaching it up at this moment, importantly. The only time will tell. In between those two. And maybe that tough one will try to go right in back. And a foul is called by Robert Williams with only 3.56 remaining. Good open look, but the feed was bam, out, ouch. That was so. It all happens to be what they got and nothing to help them. They only have no players to try to help them to go right in the bounds. Brooke Lopez at the free throw line shooting too. He never got a free throw attempt here before. But it seems like some other games he did. First free throw falls it in. That second free throw will be in for Brook Lopez. It's now a 26-21 lead. Boston trail by five, by seven. Try to swish it in here. Robert Williams gives it back to Smart. Over to Brown, stepping in. Good look, but not a good open shot. That's a tough one to go right inbound because that won't be enough to get right through it. Holiday on Smart. Step back up again. Two pointers good. A connection in between from the Bucks may have it all to make a solution out of it. The point is for Drew Holiday, he was definitely uh, giving some teammates a good, good, a lot of good communications out there. So far that the team has already got made it impossible, it may be enough for them to give it that one. And Tatum back in for the three pointer. This one is going to be tough one inbound. Three minutes left in the third quarter. It's 28-12-24. Holiday on Smart. The screen will be picked up by Lopez. Holiday inside. Hooker with the block. That's a good help and defender. This one gives up a good strike. He's knocking it all over the court. That might be a tough one to keep an eyes on. And a Kupo back in there. This one gives off in target traffic. Brown is definitely recovering it. Brown on a Kupo. Foots it over to Horford. This one cutting down won't be enough. Here's Holiday. Backs over to Matthews. Moves it over to Holiday. Back to on a Kupo. Only two minutes left here in the third quarter. It's 28-24. Bucket four. They need to get there. Almost tipped it off. And can't make the shot clock violation with the buckets count. That scoring was definitely going to be a tough one to try to make that one inbound. The paint four, it may be tough. Too hard to handle. Wolf it up. The two-pointer is off and out of the way. On the Koopa, moves it back. Moves it over to Middleton. Move back to Matthews. Brown on him. Lopez on Tatum. The shot. That is off target. And, and Middleton can't get it to go. Oh boy, this one's going to go back to pressure for Boston. It's not going to be that easy because if all that happened, when they have it all down, they need something else to go right from it instead. Orford up to Brown. Five to shoot. Over to Williams, and that will be off in a reach. Williams gets it back. They're down by two, looking for a quick heat motion. That try can be a very tough one to go right in by. On a Cooper right back to Matthews. Middle tip for three. Good! A triple range is back up in front. It's up again by ten. 
of 31 and 26. Now Tatum. Screen on offer. Tatum in its stride. The painter of this one is going to be back on track. Back down by three. That's uh, tricky. Don't be uh, reached out like you've ever seen it. On a good on Horford. Over again. Two pointer is off and away. 15 seconds left. Smart on holiday. Now Horford back to Tatum. With the shot. Goes back and around. Won't good. On a Koopa going for a buzz leader. And he won't. And I will not count the bucket here as that ends the third quarter. It's 31 28. Tight battle in game seven. But this is going to be a win to get in to the conference finals. Bucks or Celtics? Coming up, fourth quarter. about to be happening here for the fourth quarter. What a tremendous game in between the Bucks and Celtics as this one is coming down the wire before the second round finishes things off. What is your best moment here for this game there, guys? I'm betting, I, it looks like the top one team is definitely a great impression to try to knock things over. I love this one because the, the game was definitely turning out great. And for Jimmy Butler, he is like on a heat machine. And I am going to say that this game, Boston and Milwaukee, I always know that Clover really likes this one. It's a hard one to go right inbound with the attacker. I love that one here because that's all of it because of the sight of her luck. And I think her luck is going to be happening here if they win. Well, we'll have to see what happens here. So <laughs> let's keep our fingers crossed for her. Here's Pritchard. Shot off to the nine. Ferris goes with the dunk. He puts it back in there, and their team is giving it a lead, 33-31. Only four minutes to drop in in the fourth quarter. Now Allen. Fights over to Connor to back to Portis Jr. Moves over to Holiday. Screen again. Free for Holiday. There's nowhere to go. Go back in front by one. And Drew Holiday was stepping in for enjoyment. He says, let's get rowdy. He loves that one. Perfect one. I love it so far. Tina for three. Back in revenge. This one it goes for. Nope. It's not over yet. All right. Back in again. The team is up by two. All right. I'm Pritchard. Real spin move. But he fades back over to Connaughton. Allen went to Portis Jr. Back to Allen. Six on the shot clock. Gives it away. Lost the ball. That goes right to Boston Ball with 3 of 7 to go. A tremendous mobile one block by Al Warford and a rebounding by Smart. A terrific sight here for the defenders. They're much more than they need to get right through him. And the best timing of this ability can be a tough one to go right by them. I always really like this one. This game is like the only tough one that wants to go right through it and get into physical attack. Motion in the game. Now Feist is on with Jens Bobby Porter's Jr. One and three minutes left to go. Dish off to Pritchard. Ups over again. That misses off the target and Holiday with the rebound. Fast motion here for Holiday. Backing over to Allen. Back to Holiday. And Holiday is Retricked it by Tatum. Allen gets it back, and oh boy, he's uh, trying to save it. Not saving this one. Jason Tatum wants to stop their run. He's really trying to, like, keep the hustle away down motion. Allen misses three. Portis Jr. back it in to tie it. And oh boy, there are going to be, like, sounds out there. So we better see if the Celtics can get back into it. The timeout has been called by Boston Celtics with 2.16 to go in the fourth quarter. This team is like a hard on pressure to attack. And just like happening last year of 2020, that happens the same thing too. It really does stand out with their shot. After ability it may be a very tough one to go from opinion. It may be, it may be a little rougher. 
or it may be too easy for me. I could be definitely uh, telling you this one. Nothing goes out here with a stop. I like that one. Call this. It's the only answer to get it right down here on the board. You never know the effect. It may be a tough one, but nothing may ever happen if you get it right from here. And just a quick, uh, just quick seconds before the game resumes, let's check out the New Balance Player of the Game. For Game 7, goes to one of the best, Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart was delivering his only time ability. I know he has no points here for tonight in Game 7, but most of his careers was turning out best here in one, in one of each games before number 7 was being held up on. I'm definitely telling you that one. Yeah, I'm an old man. Much before they need it. Holiday outside back to Ryan Akumbo. Right around Orford, stepping back and back to Holiday. With two minutes left. Five to go. Cordis Jr. slams it down to give the lead up by two. And oh, and oh boy, yes. It looks like, um, looks like a tough one's going to be an inbound for Heat and Bucks since last season of the playoffs. It may be a tough one, but don't get us wrong because that might be a tough one to go in by. Here's Middleton right through Holiday. Back to Ana Kupo. Over again. Up and through. In the ball of Ana Kupo. The team is back up in front by four. This is a tough one. The pressure really has stopped. What in the counter? I ain't never seen it before. Rebound by Morris Jr. That's another miss by Boston. Moves back to Arna Cooper. Step in, and that calls for the goaltending on Al Horford. They are going to count the bucket for Arna Cooper. And right now, another substitution coming in for a Brown on Derek White. Back to starting five. They're going to need something else to go right by him. They need to stop them. Tatum on Middleton. Up with the two. That is no foul called here on the Bucks. We're down to a minute left to play. All right, everybody back to Matthews. Who's over to Anna Kupo? Screen on Bobby Portis Jr. Stepping in, driving in front. You gotta feel the muscle of him. Rogi on the side of Kupo. That is a pressure out there. What a drive, and I'm, I'm better this one here. There's going to be a lots of a smooth run out there. I might get in and out of the way. Middleton, right back to Ana Kupo. Back to Portis Jr. He chucked it by Robert Williams. 30 seconds left to go. Smart, lines over Tatum. Loose the ball, almost right tipped out. Double man on him, Orford with the three. Short and a run, Brown for three. Gets it back in there. This one's going to be a rough and breaking brutal end point. Now the foul has been called by Marcus Smart with 16 seconds. Right now the next one will be 201 to stop it in. And that will do for Tatum as he has his second personal, second team foul. This is now a one on two shot for Ana Kupo. Yeah, it looks like somebody's gonna be out. Somebody's gonna go home. It's gonna be Boston Celtics. Well, for real life, we did see that the Boston Celtics already destroyed the Milwaukee Bucks. So that was a good thing that they already took them out. Their favorite player of the Ana Kupo. And for that one, maybe a tough one, but maybe that. It can be a tough one to try to stop them and slow things down. Indeed, they did. First free throw shot went off. The target must be cleared out. And Ana Kumpo was saying, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit pressed and steamed, of course. I might have to rest it up here before the Eastern Conference Finals. That's a good second free throw attempt. And timeout, last call by Boston with 14.6 to go. There is going to be a lots of stuffing going on here, so the schedule will be happening here. First, we have the Warriors against the Suns here at 
Phoenix, Arizona at the Footprint Center. That will be happening here at first game on Wednesday. And then heading back right down there will be the Stanley Cup playoffs on again once after game two is finished. And then we will head you over to uh, Thursday here of the winning team facing against the Miami Heat here at FDX Arena here for the Eastern Conference Finals. And then we'll be bringing things back over to the Stanley Cup playoffs. So for that one, it's going to be a right rowdy night. And I ever before seen, it's a very good game out there. Excellent run. The performance all it does turn out, it may be tough when they're trying to slow them down. No timeouts left to go for Boston, and this could be it for Boston Celtics to give them all a chance to go for the win. Tatum outside. Three-pointer out. And that will have to do here for the end for the Celtics. And Drew Holiday is at the free throw line shooting two. Their team is like, oh, but he's in trouble now. It looks like the Boston Celtics are going to be out here to try to knock them down. First free throw is good. The last changeup for the Bucks and Celtics. As Spice and all the teams are checked out for the starting five. And starting five brings up to the last five. Here down to 8.7 seconds. Hill, Carter, Holiday, Tengis Anadokounmpo, along with uh, another Anadokounmpo, Giannis. Second free throw is good. Last possession for the Boston Celtics. Stalkus up and road, cornered up to Hauser. Stalkus and the team is all done. Well, that's it. The Eastern Conference semifinal closes up as the Bucks are going to move on to the finals to take on against the Heat. What a tremendous game here. I know this was going to ever happen. And to close things off, we go to David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think... Uh the whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready, everybody stepped up. And you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from a great team on a good team. Where well, you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Alrighty, guys. So that ends it up here. The Bucks wins the series. A tight game in between those two. And just like happened last season, the Bucks already crushed the Nets in Brooklyn. And now for this time, the Celtics gets crushed at Milwaukee. So that will end the game. It's a tough one to go on by because if you're never going to lose your time, well, you may have the other teams that can go for the win all here. Now I love to do is go to a party, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, don't have to just go for that one here. Well, for this one, for the song here, fan. It will be, it will be just the NBA. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it, but uh, everything will be alright for me. And for always, it may be a tough one to go right in by. And now the closing off for the three star players of the game. Let's start off with you, fan. Thank you very much, here. Yeah. So, for number three, we have another one that can go right from here. The all in town. Can attackers out there can never stop and slow things down. First up, we have a Drew Holiday. Nine points, three rebounds, and five assists. Also with one dunk here and 20 performance run. Does turn out one of his best time effort. Now, let's take you over to me phone for number two. Number two is going to be Giannis on the Kupo. He really isn't going to get there in just in timing right down there. He has 15 points, 8 rebounds, 1 steal, 4 dunks. I don't know what to tell you. He's like the Greek freak machine. And 15 performance run. Awesome to, for tonight and for the win here in Game 7 of Milwaukee. Now let's send you down to number 1, Son of Beast. Now, yeah, number 1 we go for is Jason Tatum. 17 points, 2 rebounds, and had a block. That was it. Nothing else, 
was called here from in between those two. I have no options because of that. Jason Tatum was delivering a star. And now for next season, he might be turning to be a legendary player if he can try to keep doing it again, just like Anacumpo. Well, it might be a tough one, but don't be a uh, worry. It may be all that tough that can try to stop and slow things down. So that wraps it up for the second round of the conference semifinals. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you haven't checked the last videos yet, the calling card is right over there. Or drop down in the uh, description box below. There will be lots of more videos here underneath to show you what they are. And stick around later for the Stanley Cup playoffs of the NHL 22 along with the Eastern Conference Finals with the Western Conference Finals. For that one, me, me phone and fan are gone. I'd like to thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel because if you don't, somebody will. Yeah, that's right. You better do it now. Click it or you will be forced with the Son of Beast to face your skills here on a one-on-one -on -one attack. There might be somebody out there that might be very scared. <laughs> I, I don't I don't show their face off anyway, so yeah, I'm sorry, but that's all I have to go for. Anyway, have a wonderful night here at Boston at the Bleed Green. They will be back for next season, but not for but not for Milwaukee, because they are going again. So, thank you all for joining, and good night for fearing the deer of Milwaukee.